Alrighty guys, it is GunGeek1000 here with a first kit demonstration. I have posted other Hunger Games on my channel, of course, before, but this is the first one where I'm actually going to be demonstrating a specific kit. I am playing alone because I do not have any friends. So, we will um do this. No teaming. It's all on my own. So, um, I am going to be playing as Monk this round. Uh, Monk is a free kit. It's available if you, uh, it's essentially free if you go and like their Facebook page. Um, which is not a hard task to do, may I say, especially if you're getting a free kit. So I recommend, recommend going and liking their Facebook page and getting the free Monk kit. I'll be just demonstrating the kit today. Um, how the kit works is you start off with the Blaze Rod in the beginning. And the Blaze Rod, if you hit an opponent, it'll knock whatever they have in their hand into their actual inventory rather than their hotkey. So it's um, it could be a crucial move in a PvP battle if you knock someone's sword into their inventory. So I mean if I'm in the middle of a PvP or right before I start a PvP, I hit them with my blaze rod, their sword gets knocked into their inventory, and thus I can beat the heck out of them with my sword and them using their fist. This looks like a force fielder from the round I was just on. I was just actually playing around, trying to demonstrate the monk kit. But I start off, yes, this is the same guy. This guy right here uses force field. He was he was literally sitting in a circle like this, right? And he was hitting the ground like this, and I was behind him. He was just hitting the ground repeatedly like this. And the reason that I know it was not lag, and I was recording, so I'm going to be sending in the footage, was because the people in the background were moving perfectly fine. Either he was lagging pretty intensely, or it was indeed force field. So I will be posting the video to my channel. It probably will not be public because I'm um, getting banned from an MC PvP server is humiliating enough rather than it being posted on YouTube for everyone to see. But YouTube is definitely the most efficient way to report a hacker. Now anyway, back to the monk. Um, as I was saying, you know, it can knock it out of their hand, but you want to. If, for instance, they had stews and they had a bowl in their hand, you're not going to do much good if you knock that bowl into their inventory, unless, of course, it was a full stew bowl and, you know, that stew bowl even things out and you had one more stew than they did because of that and you end up destroying them. Either that or your superior PvP skills and you beat the crap out of him and he was not allowed to play Hunger Games anymore because he put his family's name to shame. That actually happens over Hunger Games sometimes. It's like, especially in the real world, I mean, if you're in Hunger Games and you lose it, you put your family's name to shame. Now, I am that noob this round who gets stuck in the well and cannot get out, so I'm going to go drown myself. So we're going to sit in the bottom as well. Opti fine, opti fine, opti fine. Now, notice the mini-map up here in my top. My Minecraft character's looking at it. See up there in the top right corner? See, see it over there? Well, it's actually on my left, but whatever. Um, That up there is a mini-map. It shows characters nearby, as you can see this head over there. He's floating around. It shows hostilities, mobs, other men, players on the server. And you can also set it to show, you know, your uh, peaceful mobs, such as cows and whatnot. It's very handy for Hunger Games, and it is allowed. It is not against the MCPVP rules, at least as far as I could tell. I don't see anything that does not allow mini maps. So uh, this mini map is called Zamap. Um, you can download it. I will have the link in the description below if you would like to download the mini map. It is very effective. Um, I on honestly, it's kind of new, so I haven't gotten into the gist of looking at it yet. So um, we're going to be getting some cactus here, and there's a pig over here, and we're gonna go beat the heck out of this pig with our fist. <sighs> Okay, so we're going to get some wood, and some more wood, we're punching this tree, and punching a tree. Alright, and I was kind of having a dream the other night, do you guys ever have these dreams where like you're, like, something Minecraft happens in real life? Like, I had a dream last night that I was being attacked by like a wolf or a dog of some sort, and like, I had a Minecraft diamond sword, I think it was diamond, and I killed the wolf. 
It was a real life looking wolf, but it was like when I hit it, it was like turning red, and I was hitting it, you know, just kind of like how Minecraft does, where it's like you don't hit in a specific spot, but it's kind of like a general area, and it almost looks like their whole body. You're hitting their whole body or something. I don't really know, but it was kind of that was in my dream, so it was interesting. And I'm probably just a Minecraft addict, so I'm probably the only one who ever has these dreams, and I probably just embarrassed myself by sharing such information. Um, I don't really have that much cactus, so we'll make a few stews here. Or I should say a couple. <laughs> so let's grab our crafting table. We have 10 seconds. Typically, I don't go underground and make a stone sword like this, because I prefer to wait farther into the match to get a sword. So we're going to be off on our way. And there's a team down here, it appears, so... And, man, this server is slightly laggy. Um, well, that was interesting. I think he's lagging. Or I think maybe it was just because invincibility went off, because I've noticed when invincibility goes off, there is some lag. Darn it, I hate these noobs that run. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my monk on this guy, because he doesn't appear to have a weapon, and he's running from me, so... I mean, why would I? And here's some meat. Let's go ahead and eat this. Nom nom nom. Raw meat. It doesn't really help much, but um, whatever. It'll keep me sprinting longer. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, venture off and get some kills and hopefully find someone with an actual weapon who I'm better than, though. Better than, though. Better at PvPing than this person that I find. Somebody fell to their death or something. What? I'm finding someone. They must be... Yep, they're up there on that um hill. If I was the Tarzan kit, <laughs> I could easily scale that that um, overhang. Just kill more pigs and get their meat. No, oh, I am a hungry man. There we go. I'm almost completely full now. <sighs> epic PvP. Or epic PvP. Epic parkour jump. Ooh, Fisherman is battling it out over here. No, oh, I will help you, Fisherman, and steal your kill. Ha 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 ha. Hello, my soldier. Lag spike. <laughs> uh, are you really gonna run from me? Do I really wanna waste my time going after you? Ooh, creepers. I see what you did there. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Ooh. Guy. <laughs> Monk! No, he's not. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here, bro. Got him. Sweet. Okay. So watch my back. Watch my back. Watch my back. Okay. I have so much junk in my inventory, but I don't want to sit out here in the open and organize it. So we're going to keep moving. That was hilarious how the, those, there's just like those creepers blew that guy up to oblivion. And there's a skeleton over there. <laughs> just like, get behind the gravel. I will not be messing with any skeletons today. So I'm back out in the open. I should have been more aware of stompers, the possibility of stompers up there. Here's a hole. Is it a cave, or is it just one of those weird little... Oh, there's a cave at the bottom of it, though. These are very beneficial for finding iron, which is what I am off to do right now, because I got a decent amount of kills. I actually didn't get to demonstrate the monk aspect of things, but um, it was cool. I got some good kills regardless. So I know it's probably dark right now, and I and I hate that, because I know it's insanely annoying to watch. I'm probably going to regret throwing all my junk down here in a minute. But I'm going to anyway. Uh, dirt. 